Prophet Musa and Samari. When Allah saved Prophet Musa and his followers from the evil Pharaoh, they traveled to another land. On their way, the people of Israel found people who were worshipping an idol. And they asked Musa to make an idol for them to worship. Prophet Musa warned them and told them off for making this evil request. Afterwards, Prophet Musa and his followers stayed in the land. And Prophet Musa had to leave his followers for 40 days. As is it mentioned in the Holy Quran, Allah promised to give Musa the holy book called the Torah. Prophet Musa went to his appointment and left his brother Harun in charge. A man called Saab Mary made an idol from gold so that he could make people turn away from the command of Prophet Musa and worship the idol. An idol he created himself. How could they worship something which could not see or hear or help the people in any way? Musa came back with the Torah and he was very angry when he saw what his own people had done. Musa was also angry with his brother Harun who he put in charge. He grabbed his brother by his hair because he was fuming. Harun said he was helpless because if he tried to stop the people, they would kill him. He then asked Samari about what he had done. And Samari said that he took a handful of dust from the track of the angel Gilbri's horse to build a calf. As a consequence of his sin, Prophet Musa told Samari that he would have no contact with anyone for the rest of his life and the golden idol he built would be burnt and thrown in the sea. The people of Israel regretted their actions and they asked Allah for forgiveness. However, they had to repent to receive Allah's forgiveness.